Hi, welcome to Depth of Field. I'm David Brummer, and we're here at Brooklyn Photo Studios, and Michelle Salentano just flew in from Phoenix, Arizona, and she's here to do a really cool group family portrait session. She's gonna teach you guys all sorts of stuff. And Michelle, inside tip, she is actually from Bayside, Brooklyn. So she's been living without New York pizza. So we're gonna go find Michelle and hook her up with some of this amazing New York style pizza. Sounds good, right? Let's go find her. Oh my God. You, you just can't get marinara like I, that in, in Phoenix. No, they don't make pizza like this in Phoenix. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 Depth and Field. We are here at Brooklyn Photo Studios. We've met up with Michelle Salentano. She is a Phoenix-based uh, family portrait photographer and uh, she's done some weddings in the past. A few. A few. And uh, she's a regular WPPI, Imaging USA, teaches across the country. And we brought her here to New York City for pizza. And we have a family booked for a photo shoot. And we're going to learn the inside scoop on how Michelle works with a family from the booking to the actual shoot. There's kids. You guys are going to learn a lot. So, Michelle, welcome to Depth of Field. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Pleasure. I don't know what took so long to get here. Seriously. Well, Westcott brought you in. <laughs> yeah, they did. Some amazing lights. Yes. And uh, by the way, just a little seamless shill for Westcott, but yep. I, I bought Westcott lights myself. Um, it was an employee purchase through Westcott. I got a good deal. Yeah. Um, but everyone gets a good deal at B&H Photo. I want a job there. <laughs> you want a job there? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you got it in. You know, I bought my first camera at B&H on 17th Street. Awesome. What kind of camera was it? Bronica SQAI. That yes. The square Bronica. Yep. That was the, Back in the little store on the side of the street. Yep. Yeah. yeah you knock on the door. Yep. Moshe comes out. Yes. Give him money. Give you the camera. <laughs> Pretty much. No, that's not true. No. It, was, it was a big store. You had to wait in line. It was yeah, a lot of yeah. fun. And uh, But anyway, so we, we have you here at Depth of Field. Uh, Westcott is sponsoring you. And I was saying with Westcott, I really dig those lights. Um, I bought them in like October. Mm -hmm. And I just recharged the batteries on them. That's crazy. It's I mean, I guess I should be shooting more. Yeah, you're not very busy, are you? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Nah. Yeah. But, uh, but pretty amazing equipment. So we're going to see that. I don't that think I've there. had to ever change a battery in the middle of a shoot. I mean, I mean, and they'll last multiple shoots, but yeah, I get it. I was kind of worried because it was my first flashes I worked with with a battery. And I kind of, you know, like like if you leave the morning without your cell phone fully charged, right. or your, your camera batteries yeah. have to be charged. And there's like a stress of batteries that's yeah. kind of over you. You don't have that stress no, with Westcott no, lights. No. So, uh, Michelle, um, could you tell us, work us through a little bit how you uh, prepare for a photo shoot? Yeah. Um, so, for me, with uh, family portraits, it's really important to have a, a consultation with moms. So, don't really book online. Always meet with moms ahead of time. I mean, obviously, during COVID, a lot through Zoom. But uh, most of my clients are in my area, so they come to the studio. We do a consultation. Mm -hmm. can show her all the products we offer in the studio, what to expect. I mean, part of the consultation is really managing client expectations and walking them through what to expect during the shoot, how I'm going to be with the kids, getting mm -hmm. to know their kids. Um, every kid has a different personality, who's shy, who's outgoing, mm -hmm. what are they into, what sports do they like. The more information I have about the kids, the more I can interact with them, the sillier I can be. Um, also giving her pricing information so that she has that um, knowledge uh, as well. How much time do you spend on the initial consultation? Usually about 40 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Depends. Um, we'll go over clothing as well. Uh, a lot of times we'll talk about decor, what's in their home. Do they want to like kind of match or blend into what's in their home? What's the color palette? Um, you know, all of that. I talk about making sure that they don't wear big, bold patterns that are going to be very distracting to the eye. Um, so yeah, all of that. Okay. So working with these amazing flashes that have battery capabilities. Yeah. And no shoot, wires to trip on. And no wires to trip on. Yeah. Do you, uh, 
Do you shoot primarily in studio or on location? It's a good combination of both. I would say in Arizona, a lot of people want outdoor portraits. In the summertime, obviously, when it gets to 120, we're in studio. Uh, I do a lot of work for the local theater, so I do all of their promos and headshots, obviously, in the studio. Um, but I do a mix. Um, older families with grandparents I'll often recommend in studio. They can't often walk through the park or on the trails or, on, you know, go hiking for be beautiful Sedona portraits. So it depends on the capabilities. If a client wants, you know, a natural environment, obviously we're going outside. I love classic black and white in the studio if they want to look like that. So it just depends on the look that they want as well. When you're shooting in the studio, can you tell us your favorite light modifiers? <sighs> I have so many. I really do. Um, but I'm a huge fan of the beauty dish, I, both of them, the Westcott uh, Switch beauty dish, the 24-inch Joel Grimes beauty dish, and then the new one, the 36-inch, the Manny Ortiz beauty dish. It's a little bit wider, but it's a nice shallow uh, modifier, and I like using it as a beauty dish, even when I'm working with multiple people. Uh, most of my moms are in my age range, they're in their 40s, 50s, and if I'm photographing grandmas, we don't really want side lighting that's gonna accentuate all the wrinkles that we have. Mm. So Beauty Dish is perfect for moms because it really softens the skin. Softens it gives us nice defined cheekbones. It gives us that pretty butterfly light underneath the nose. So it's really flattering for my age women. I don't wanna say older. I'm not gonna go there, but. Well, it's a beauty dish. It's it not is, an ugly dish. It is a, <laughs> it is a beauty dish. Um, the seven-foot umbrella is awesome for doing groups. Uh, it can mimic a window. Mm -hmm. It can be just a beautiful, flat, soft light. Um, I'll sometimes have it behind the camera, sometimes to the side. So it's very versatile, but it's a big light source so that I get nice, even lighting on my groups. Mm -hmm. So for my groups, I like a nice, even, flat lighting. It's not, you know, groups and Family portraits aren't necessarily artsy. We want to see this gorgeous Rembrandt lighting. It's more of where we really want to see the faces and we want everybody to be evenly lit. A good recording of, of yeah. the person. Yeah. And, uh, you know, speaking of, of groups, uh, I hear that you are called the queen of the group pose. Queen of the group posing. I know. I'm almost like sometimes at conventions stuff, I have to put my head down because if people are like, you know, hey, let's get a group together. Michelle's here. Let her pose it. I'm like, oh, geez. Um, but I do. It's my jam. I can pose groups of people of all sizes what, what's and shapes. The, what's, the, the, what's the biggest group that you've Oh my gosh. Posed? One of my favorite groups ever was actually probably close to 100 people in Korea. I went to Korea to teach a class and at the end of it, and I had a, 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 a translator, and at the end of the class they wanted a group and it was like a real challenge to photo, like pose nearly 100 non-English speaking people and get everybody where I wanted them to be, but it actually worked out really well. So yeah. But you were teaching in Korea? I did. I went to Korea to teach and uh You were playing Squid Game? No, no, I was like okay. it would it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. But that was probably one of the most challenging because there's a hundred people and a an, uh, language barrier. So yeah. but I, if as long as you can imagine. tell people where to go and you know, and and mirror what you want them to do. You can just show them where you want them to sit, and you know. So yeah. Amazing, amazing. Okay, um, so I think that uh, I just got to text the uh, the families on their way. They're here. So they're, they're here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do that shoot with the family, and then uh, we're gonna sit down afterwards and just kind of talk about your your thoughts and how the whole thing went. And I'm uh, really excited. I should have you here for depth of field. I think that our uh, our guests of Depth of Field are really going to get a lot out of this because this is important stuff. Yeah. This is like money-making stuff. It is. I'm excited to be here. I love teaching family and group portraits. For me, family is everything. And, you know, you'll never know the value of a portrait until it becomes all you have left. And uh, I don't have portraits with my grandparents who raised me, and that breaks my heart. And mm. so, you know, I, I mean, throughout my daughter's life, I made sure she had portraits with you know, myself and her dad and her stepmom and her step siblings, like she's got years and years of portraits because I think it's so important. Mm -hmm. And someday when I'm not here anymore, she's gonna have this legacy of portraits that were created for her. And I hope I bring that to other families and we all do as photographers. And you know, pictures are gonna be lost on phones forever, but until we as photographers are printing our work for our clients, that's the most important so, thing. It really is important work. Yep. It's not you're preserving a family's legacy. Yeah. And, uh, and you're making a paycheck while you're at uh, it, so it's kind of cool. That's nice too. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be paid well for it. And honestly, I say this all the time, 
family portraits are probably one of the most profitable genres in your business. You were saying earlier that when you invest time in a wedding versus the invested yeah. time in a portrait Absolutely. session. Absolutely. The margin is much better. When, the you know, you session. have to look at your business dollar per hour, right? Like, what are you like what your working time? What is that valued at? And, you know, I remember when I shot weddings, I probably put 30 to 40 hours into a wedding from consultation to engagement portrait to full day shooting, editing, album design, meeting with the clients. I mean, it's a lot, um, you know, for, you know, for almost the same amount of money, I can photograph a family and it takes up maybe six to seven hours of my mm -hmm. time. And I can do three of those a week, no problem. It sounds like a winning game. Okay, so uh, we have our families coming yeah. in. So, hey everyone, stay tuned. Michelle's gonna do her photo shoot, then we're gonna sit down afterwards and get some feedback. So let's do it. Sounds good. All right. Okay, I'm in the studio and I'm getting ready for the family to come in and I'm just going to walk you through a few of the things I do to get myself set and ready to go. One is I go over all of the information that I've collected from mom. I make sure that I have all of their names. It's really important to call your family by their names. Um, I think mom and dad, when you're talking to them, is disrespectful, especially as your groups get bigger, grandma and grandpa. Calling people by their first name is super important. When I'm referencing mom and dad to the kids, I'll say your mom or your dad, but I'm always trying to use people's first names. So review all the information, uh, review what the kids are into, what conversations you're gonna have with them, and then go ahead and get your studio set up. So I shoot tethered when I'm in the studio, so I make sure my computer's set up, Capture One is ready to go, my computer's working uh, with my camera, everything is set. I get my background set up, I get my lights set up. I probably do about 90% of the work before the client walks in the door so that when they come in, I have about 10% left to go. And really that is just so that I can spend a couple minutes getting set up while they're then getting ready. If we have hair and makeup on set, um, then hair and makeup is getting done. I like the kids to get used to the space that they're in for a couple of minutes. I'll just chat with them. How are you today? Like people coming into the studio can be a very intimidating experience. Most people don't like to be photographed. It's not the top 10 things that dads like to do. Moms are usually feeling pretty awkward and uncomfortable. Does my hair look good? Do I look fad? Does my, you know, my clothing look okay? Are my kids gonna be idiots? Is my husband gonna make a nice face? Like there's all these worries. And so spending that few minutes when people walk in the door to just let them kind of get used to the space, decompress a little bit, offer them some coffee or tea or water, whatever you have available in your studio, and let the kids just get used to the space. Um, after that, I usually will warm up the kids by asking them to be my light testers. So I like to light meter everything. I use a light meter when I'm working with my strobes. And so to get the kids warmed up so they're not just jumping in and like, okay, you're on set, ready, smile nice. I usually say who wants to be my light tester. That does a couple of things for me. It lets me know who is the more outgoing of the children and who is the shy of the children because the one who's outgoing is like, me, 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 I wanna be the light test. And the shy kids are gonna be the one who's like, no, not me, don't wanna do that. And so that now starts to give me an idea of how I'm gonna interact with each of those kids. Also, the outgoing kids usually will show the more shy kids or the younger kids that it's not that scary, nothing bad's gonna happen. And so I'll have some fun with that and then get my lights finally set up and exactly where I want them by using the light test. Once that light test is done, I'm usually in there getting fun expressions and getting the kids warmed up. I'm pretty funny, I'm pretty ridiculous behind the camera. And I think you really need to be when you're photographing families. And again, when mom and dad are having a good time and they see that the kids are having a good time, everyone relaxes and that's what you really want. Natural, relaxed expressions based on the interaction that you're having with them. So once you're set up and you've got those light tests and all of your settings are correct, and don't forget to lock your settings on your camera. If I don't lock that camera setting, that lock on my camera, I, my fat thumbs will hit different buttons. So make sure throughout the session, you're checking your settings, making sure everything stays the same. I've done it a million times where I think everything is right. And then I mix up a setting because my thumbs move things. So 
double check your settings, double check your exposure, um, all of everything that you need to do, and you'll be on your way to success. Um, so my studio, my preferred studio equipment is uh, the Canon R5, which I'll be using today. I also have the R6, I love that one. Um, I like the R5 because I will more than likely shoot 99% of this session all horizontal, so I don't really have to play with moving my camera. And the file sizes are so big and beautiful that I don't have to worry that I'm cropping out a lot of space in that in that frame. Um, the 70 to 200 is a very, very go-to lens for me. Um, one, because if I do need to rotate the camera, it's on a collar, so it's very easy for me to rotate that camera to vertical or horizontal without having to take the camera off the tripod. It's a very smooth transition for me. I also like having the availability of uh, going from 70 to 200, so if I'm shooting something a little bit wider, I can always zoom in and get a little bit of a different look of the same pose. It's just going to be cropped tighter. Um, the lighting that we have today, I will start with the 36 inch beauty dish. And again, I love that particular dish uh, beauty, that modifier, because it's great for not only individual portraits, but I can get up to four people using that beautiful overhead beauty dish light. I'll also be using the seven foot umbrella so that if we're doing more full length or pulling back, I get a really nice coverage, beautiful, soft, almost like window light with that seven foot umbrella. That's what that seven foot umbrella can do. We can use it as a main, we can use it as a side light, we can use, uh, we have uh, V-flat panels today, so we can use fill that way. So there's lots and lots of things we can do. It always depends on the kids. I can do, I can shoot for hours if the kids will allow me to. Some kids are done in an hour, some kids will give you the two hours. So. I keep moving in a way that really keeps the kids moving. If they get bored, they will start to lose interest very, very quickly. Also, another really important thing is combinations. Um, I am in the business of selling photography and selling prints, and so the more combinations that I have of these family groups, the more I'm going to be able to sell. So that means each of the kids individually, the kids together, each of the children with mom, each of the children with dad, both children with mom, both children with dad, mom and dad together, the whole family together, mom with both boys, dad with both, like just name the combination and I will make it happen just so that there's a lot of variety and I'm always working for expression. So a lot of times with kids, um, people ask me all the time, how do you get kids to warm up? And one of the ways that I get kids to warm up is by asking them to make silly faces. And it sounds crazy, but when you ask kids to make weird faces, it really actually warms up the facial muscles. And in between all those weird faces, you actually start to get really natural and relaxed expressions. So most of the time, moms overprep their kids. Right, moms are spending a lot of money, they feel stressed, they want their kids to behave, they want their kids to smile nice for them, and so moms will like make them practice their smile. And when you have young kids who practice their smiles, you get this a lot. And that is not a good expression. So by asking for mad face, silly face, excited face, sad face, um, I really am just working those kids and getting them to make all these different expressions. And somewhere in between all of that, they look up and they laugh. So that's part of the preparation as well, especially when I first get them in front of the camera. So also giving them permission to not smile. One of the other things I love to ask kids to do is wink at me. Um, Cause one, some kids can, some kids can't, but when they do it, it's really, really funny, especially little boys. They always make funny faces. So one of my favorite things to do. Um, but what I really wanna say is that one of the things I want to say is that go ahead and really start to experiment with uh, in-studio strobe lighting. I've been a photographer for more than 30 years and I prided myself on being an all natural light photographer, AKA afraid of strobe until about five years ago when I got into the FJ 400 system, which is about maybe four or five years ago and fell in love with it. And I'm really now obsessed with modifiers and learning to control light. And it's really so much simpler than it appears to be, or at least I thought it was. Um, but start with one light, add a second light. You can add a third light, add some fill, add, add a reflector. Um, just it's, you know, photography is 
kind of like cooking. You have all these fantastic ingredients at your disposal and it's just taking those different ingredients, mixing them up and trying different new things with them to get a brand new recipe. And that's all it is. All right, so as a good Italian cook, I think I've got all my ingredients ready to make this recipe and this family portrait work. I'm really excited to start working with this family. These kids are adorable. So we're gonna have a great day. Because you're going to be on the couch, so I don't want your shoes on the couch. Oh, you want more socks? No, I want to see your bare feet. Fine. Thank you. All right, Nehemiah. No. All right. All right. So you hop out for one second. And Nehemiah, you come to the center. So Darius, you come right here. So we're getting started with you two kooky kids. Uh, Mom is still getting her hair and makeup done, so we might as well have some fun. So Darius, you can come right over here. Yeah. And Nehemiah, I want you to sit up on that couch for me, crisscross applesauce. There you go. And then, yes, right there. Don't move. That's perfect. Oh, it is kind of nice not having your shoes on. I like it. How about you? No. You don't like You don't like being barefoot? No. Okay, sit up and lean on those knees for me just a little bit. Can you lean on your knees? Oh, what, you don't like having your toes free and flowing no. just out in the world? No? Why not? Because it's bad. Why is it bad? Tell me, why is it bad? Because I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay, so can you sit uh, the way you are there, but can you sit like this for me? See how I'm sitting? Can you sit like that on the couch? <laughs> Perfect, so bring that foot up. You, you got, are your pants too tight? <laughs> What's happening over there? And then scoot this way for me just a little bit more. You got it. All right, so perfect. Oh my gosh, and stop being that cute. Are you ready? So this shoulder, can you lower it for me just a little bit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that is really cute. Okay, turn your face to me just a little bit. Perfect. So when we have six-year-olds, we're really like working within the constraint of what they're capable of. And if your pants are too tight, well, then that's just a problem, isn't it? Are your pants too tight? No. No. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. You can bend your knee okay? Yeah. Okay. Bring, can you bring your arms around that knee? Like kind of hug your knee? Yep. But then turn your face to me a little bit more? Yes. Turn that face to me just a little bit more. I love it. Hold it right there. Well, it looks good on camera, huh? So I'm looking at the... Uh, my screen on Capture One and the light looks good. There's beautiful highlights on his face. The couch looks good. I like it. You're pretty good. All right, so can you like, can you grab your toe? Ah, but then look at me and bend that knee just a little bit more. Yep, and then hug your knee. Can you hug your knee? Oh, why do you look like you're in pain? Are you in pain? No. Does something hurt? Are you sure? Are you positive? All right. All right, come on over. Okay, come into the center and sit right on that seam for me. Okay, and then go ahead. Please take your socks off for me. Okay, come on. Just... I'm going to be like this all time. No, I need you to sit the way your brother was sitting. You're, you look like your knees have been amputated like, that way. Like this. Yeah, but then I need to see your foot. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. You're fine. Okay, Wait, right. only one? Only no, both of them. Come on. All right, but don't look at me, whatever you do. Don't do it. What? Stop looking at me. Just take your darn socks off. Oh, thank you. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw them over there. Yeah, great. And the other one. Because that just looks weird with only one. Perfect. And then, perfect. And then can you sit like this on that chair for me? Like crisscross applesauce? It's like this. Can I see your feet, though? So feet in front. Feet in front. Uh, what? Are you ashamed of your feet? Do you have like ugly feet or something? Oh, your jeans are too tight too? Yeah. Great. I love that. Okay. There you go. And lean. I want you to lean on your knees for me. Like lean on your knees, like with your elbows. Lean forward for me. Yep. But hands down. Oh, I like that though. Hands down for me. Yes. Do you have gum? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Give it up. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm a mama. I can handle it. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. That was awesome. What flavor gum was that? Was it like was it was it ready to go or was it still really fresh and you're mad about it? It was so fresh. Really? <laughs> Let me see your mad face. Oh yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one. You don't have a mad face. Sad face? No. What kid doesn't have a sad face? Really? All right, I love it. Stay right there. Don't move. Okay, are you ready, Nehemiah? No. Come on. Come on. Ready? Okay, stay there. You're going to fit right in here. Take your shoes off. I'm telling you, someday you're going to be like, that lady was right. I'm glad she made me take my shoes off. No. And yeah, I'm know. telling you. you yeah. So I, I, want you to put, I want you to put this part of your tush right here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the deal for today. So put it right here. You're going to sit with your brother. I need you guys a little closer together. And you know what? I'm going to have you put this foot down but there. Has it been more than five minutes? <laughs> no. Your, your concept of time is messed up. Okay, maybe, maybe two more minutes. Then. Maybe two more minutes. Okay, can you sit right in here for me? You got to get closer. Ready? One more minute. One more minute. Let me have this toe. Oh, see, this is why I take your shoes off so I can grab your toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and you're going to jump right in here and lean on your brother just a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how this is going to work out. All right. Are you guys ready? So I want you to put your elbow on your brother's knee. That's it. And Darius, you're going to lift. <laughs> Darius, you got to lift up. So don't lean on him so like you're knocking him over. Perfect. Oh, and I like, I like the whole fish face thing we have going on. That's great. That's good. Let's keep working with the fish face. I like it. Okay. So knee's going to go here. This is going to go here. This is gonna go here, ready? Okay, oh, that's gonna go there. <laughs> Sit up a little straighter for me, ready? And then lift up. Okay, yep, beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put you where I want you and then I need you to stay exactly where you are. You ready? You're gonna turn your face this way. You're gonna turn your face this way. Ready? Relax this shoulder. Bring this arm. Good one minute. So okay, don't, right don't lean on him too much. Don't lean on him too much. Don't lean on him too much. Oh, turn your face to me just a little bit more. Darius, relax your shoulder just a little bit. Yes, and Nehemiah, turn your face toward your brother just a little bit. Ha! Look at me. Eyes on me. Eyes on me. <gasps> Nehemiah, turn this way just a little bit. Chin down. Lean towards me a little bit. Darius, lift up a little bit taller for me. And Nehemiah, you are slumping, slumping. Tilt your head towards your brother. Ah! Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Nehemiah, come towards me just a little bit more. Yes! Turn your face towards your brother just a little bit more. Lean together just a little bit. Why do you look like he's going to bite you? <laughs> What? Why do you look like he's going to bite you? Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, break it. Break, break, break. Take a break. Take a break. Yeah, I know. You're getting tired. Oh, wait. It's going to be two more minutes. I get to go stop. You get two, two more minutes? Is that what you said? I said it's already been two more minutes. It's been two more minutes. Okay. So, no problem. So, let's take a quick break. So, we're going to take a quick break. Um, we've photographed each of them by themselves. I will do it again. Um, without the couch, I'll be using the wall to do some other different things. And then we photograph the two of them together. So they're pretty warmed up by now. <laughs> they're feeling pretty good, relaxed. They're feeling really good, really relaxed, warmed up. And so we have dad, Chris, just walked into the room. So we're going to give them, they just do not want to be without their shoes. And now I'm without mine. So, ah, okay. So right now, Tatiana came in, she's ready, hair and makeup. So I'm gonna photograph her with each of the boys. So she has individual portraits. I actually love that the kids have individual portraits with their mom. So tilt your head this way for me, Nehemiah, and then Tatiana will go this way a little bit. Nehemiah, turn this way up and chin up for me just a little bit, yes. And then looking right here for me. Can you sit up a little straighter for me, buddy? There you go, and lean forward a little bit so your mom can lean towards you. Yes, stay right there. Tatiana, lean this way over his shoulder this way. Perfect, let the elbow come out onto the, yep. And then now, Nehemiah, just tilt your head towards your mom, top of your head. Yep, ready? Yes, and eyes at me, perfect. Ah, oh, I love that, you got it. Hold it right there. So I'm just shooting horizontal, because I wanna get, and then can you let your foot come out like towards your mom? Yep, and, yep, you got it. 
Perfect. Yep, and bend your knee for me a little bit. Yep, you got it. So I'm just gonna come in. So I want you like foot down, and then this hand goes up here, and then this hand will come under here. So I'm just adjusting hands, extending that elbow out. Yes, perfect. And then let your head go this way, Tatiana. And then, yes. And then Nehemiah, chin goes this way just a little bit. Yes, and lean up to your mom just to drop. Ah, and don't giggle. Chin down, just a baby drop. And then tilt your head this way with me a little bit. Yep. So it's kind of awkward for him because he's like leaning. And so I have his head going in odd positions, which feels unnatural to the body. So I want you to take your nose and turn your nose with me this way. Perfect. And then I want you to take the top of your head and go like this. Yes. And then take your nose and go this way. So this is one of the advantages of working on a tripod is that my hands are free to direct them exactly how I want them to be without having to lift up and putting the camera up and down to my face. So everything stays the same except the, the minor little adjustments I'm making and don't you giggle, don't do it, don't giggle. Don't do it, oh, stop it. Are you always this bad? Are you, do you always not listen? Or do you listen all the time? What do you think? Ready? Stay right there. So I'll build on this group. So stay right where you are. And Darius, come with me real quick. Da right? Did I say it right? Darius. Darius. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. So knees are going to go right here. So I'm building in this triangle. So what I want to create with this group is diagonal lines and triangles. So scoot your knees in really close to your mom. Get in closer. Closer. And then this hand's gonna come around her. So I want you to lean this way just a little bit, but not too much. Bring your hand to her lower back. So one of the things we really wanna avoid when we're doing groups is hands coming around the shoulder and creating this weird like sausage fingers coming out of the shoulders. So I always try to bring hands to the lower back. So this way we don't have mystery fingers and then ready. And you're gonna lean in right there. So perfect. From here, perfect. Now bring your hand, this hand in your pocket, bring it to your mom's hand. So hang on to your mom, yes! And then all of you are gonna be looking at me. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, I love this. And I think we just wanna move that light over just a little bit, so hang on. I can move it real quick. So we're just gonna move it so that it's centered up. There we go. So the Beauty Dish will light all three of them really, really nicely. Um, actually, we probably need to go up just a little bit because we, I actually moved the chair back. So I'm gonna just re-meter really quickly. And we might need to move it a little closer. So lift up your foot for me. That's it, there you go. Can you give me a quick light meter test from back there? Nope, I get it, yep. So 3.4, yep, a little bit more. Perfect, and we'll bring it down just a drop. I thought it went down. In a little bit more. Yep, perfect. So we're just adjusting the light. I moved the chair, I actually moved the chair over and back. So, Nehemiah, and down just a little bit lower. So and you can uh, just angle it from the boom. All right, Nehemiah, lift up nice and tall. And Darius, you're gonna lean over your mom this way towards me. So lean towards me a little bit more. That's it, yes. And Nehemiah, I need a little happier than that because you look all miserable. Are you feeling miserable? No, okay, good. Okay, so Darius, lean over your mom just a little bit more, a little bit more. So this is what I'm talking about when I say get the faces close to the same focal point. I want all of those noses to be as close to the focal plane of the camera as possible. Perfect, but t a little taller. I know, it's hard to hold that pose. Lean forward towards me just a little bit, and I want you to squeeze into your mom. And then Nehemiah, lift up a little taller, nice and tall posture. So don't lean so much on your mom, lean forward to me just a little bit. Yep, and then bring this elbow I don't want to step on that. So bring this elbow and let me see this hand right there. There you go. Perfect. Haha. -ha. I love it. You ready? All right. And Nehemiah, lean this way a little bit more between your brother and your mom. Yes. And then Tatiana, this way a little bit. Nehemiah, turn your face to me just a little bit. Ah, I'm going to love this one. Ooh. Wink at me. <laughs> and then big smile all the way. Big. You're so happy. Squeeze your mama all the way. Squeeze into her. Yes, yes, yes. Hold it. Ooh. Okay, so uh, Nehemiah, you can take a two minute break. So you're gonna stay right where you are. This hand will come just over and relax. I want your knees right in here. So you're gonna be nice and tall. Yep. 
You have the hard part. I gave mom the easy part. So put your knees right there. Scoot in. Feels weird, looks good, trust me. Now you're gonna lift up nice and tall. Oi, lift. Okay, so I have a string at the top of your head and I'm pulling you up from the ceiling. String, lift up, lift, lift. Oh, there you go. Now turn toward your mom and you're gonna lean into her, kind of like you were when your brother was in front. Yep. And then I want you to bring your hand on top of your mom's hand right there. And then Tatiana, just put your hand on your thigh right here. Perfect, and just let it relax and bring your fingers together just a little bit. So we always want nice soft fingers. If the fingers are too spread out, they tend to look like claws. So fingers always nice and soft together. Okay, Darius, lean up and get your face close to your mom. And then Tatiana, turn your face to me just a little bit more, but then lean to him. Yep, but so lean from the body and the head stays straight. Yes, and then nose turns towards me. Perfect. Darius, lean forward to me just a little bit more. Lift up a little taller. Lift up, yes! Now lean to me just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that is perfection. I love that. Hold it right there. Squeeze into your mom just a little bit more. I'm gonna come up just a little bit higher. I'm just getting a little bit closer with my 70 to 200. So I photographed them a little bit wider and now I'm just coming in a little bit tighter. And Darius, lean over your mom just a little bit more. Get that nose a little closer. Tilt your head to her just a little bit. Tatiana, turn your face to me this way just a little bit. You got it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm at an auction. Turn your face this way. Chin up a little bit more. Five, five to ten dollars, five dollars. Well, how much do you want this picture for? <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. So we have Tatiana with each of the boys and both of the boys. How do you feel about that? Good. Yeah, you feel good about it? Okay, so. Do we have Chris in the room? We have Chris in the room. Are you ready to be photographed with your dad? Mm. Yeah. Let's, let's change it up just a little bit. How about we change it up just a little bit? Sound good? Okay. While I'm negotiating with a nine-year-old about shoes, because that happens at sessions, I switched up the lighting because I'm gonna get into the bigger groups now. Um, so I wanted to go a little bit flatter. I pushed the prop, the chair, the couch, futon, whatever, whatever it is, against the wall a little bit. So I'm using more of the wall. And we went to a seven foot umbrella, which gives us a really beautiful, flat, wide spread of light. And so it's just a very simple light. We can bring it to the side, create window light with it. It was giving me a little bit sh more shadow than I wanted on the background. So I pulled it around to lessen the way it feathers and make it more straight on. And we are shoeless, hallelujah. Did you feel my pain now? You understand how ugly the bottom of shoes can be? No, not really. Wow, okay, so here's what I want you guys to do. Can you each like jump in on knees, one knee here, one knee here on each side of your dad? Yeah, up, 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 up. <laughs> There you go, yes, face right in here. Oh, don't move. Same thing, turn this way, get in there. Yes, beautiful, oh, oh, yeah, oh, look at you guys together, I love it. Okay, Nehemiah, lean in there, lean in, lean in, tilt your head towards your dad. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, that is good, you guys, I'm loving it. It's a little hot, I'm gonna take it down just a drop, so hang on. I went to 3.5, so I'm gonna readjust to 4.0 because that's what our reading was. Nehemiah, lean towards me just a little bit. Lean towards me. Yes, now lean that way just a little bit. You got it, oh my gosh. You guys, hold it right there and lean towards your dad just a little bit more, Darius. You got it, ah, and Nehemiah, oh my gosh. And then Tatiana, I'm gonna have you come right in here. So. One knee is gonna be back here behind Chris, one knee is gonna be right here, and your head is gonna come into this space. Okay. So I'm always trying to create triangles in my posing. So when Tatiana leans up over the boys, she's gonna lean right in here. You're gonna lean this way a little bit. This arm will come around him just to drop. And I need you right up here in that spot where you were before, lifting up. So bring this knee right here. And so when we wanna get bodies together and puzzle bodies together, we have to know where our base is. And our base starts at the feet or the knees, starts at the feet and the knees. And so making sure the knees are in the right place allows me to make sure that he gets his body over dad's shoulder right in here. So up a little higher for me, because you wanna be leaning over dad's shoulder. So this foot comes, that knee comes this way just a little bit more. And then remember how you're gonna lean in and get that face nice and close right, right about there. Okay, and then because you love him, you're gonna hang on to him right there, beautiful. All right. And that Tatiana, lean in this way. And then Nehemiah, tilt your head this way just to drop. 
but you know, I really need you to not be so flipping miserable. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> And then Darius, lean towards me just a little bit more. Get a little taller. Lift. Yep, but not from the shoulders. Yep, yep. Ah, yes! And everybody squeeze together just a little bit. Oh, I love that, you guys. But Tatiana, straighten out your head just a little bit. And then turn the nose this way and then lean forward to me. Yes! So all of the micro posing happens from behind the camera. So macro posing is putting the family exactly where I want them, having them sit in a certain spot, and then adjusting all the, wow, you're working that wall back there, aren't you? Has that, <laughs> he's got his hand on the wall. Squeeze in one more time. And I'm gonna just change this up a little bit. So I'm gonna make it a little easier on you. You come this way, I'm gonna have you switch spots. So you come around this way. So I can see Darius having a little struggle getting higher on this shoulder. So now your one knee will go behind him and one knee will come here. So in order to help that struggle, one knee will go here, this knee will come over here, then this head's gonna go right in there and then you're gonna squeeze together, okay? Get up nice and high on those knees. Yes! Now hold on to your brother's arm right there. And everybody squeeze together. So Tatiana, lean in a little bit and bring your arm to Chris. So bring your arm around there, yep, squeeze into him a little bit. Turn your face with me this way just a little bit. Yes! Oh, you guys, all right. Well, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, so take a quick break. Oh, that looks so good. Wow, okay. So do you want to take a quick look? Yeah. So during the session, I like to have mom take a look at what we've been doing, and that's part of the reason tethering works out so well. So there's your family. So Chris, this is normal for our dads who don't have makeup on, but we have a little shine on your head, so I'm just going to give you a couple of blotting tissues. And this is going to absorb any oil on your skin and just go ahead and just pat it. And it just makes my retouching life easier later. So put, really push like, yep. Right. In, and you'll see it starts to absorb, absorb all that oil. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know. Yeah. Wow. You have amazing Frosting work. Fish. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank really you. Good. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, they're adorable, but they're a six and eight year old handful, nine year old. Yeah. So, yeah. right. It really, you put your shoes back on already. Oh, good lord. Huddle up. Hi. Huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Huddle. Okay, okay. we're like, we're li huddle listen, up. we're in the home stretch. This is fourth quarter. Look at me, fourth quarter. You know football? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're fourth quarter, okay? Mommy, mommy, huddle up, huddle up. Huddle up, huddle, huddle, up, huddle up, huddle up. Okay, yeah, huddle up. Okay, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in, fam. Okay, we're in the fourth quarter, okay? So we're in the home stretch, okay? And right now, Team Kid is winning, okay? So... We got like 30 more minutes, and then we're gonna wrap this up, and then we're gonna go for some like martinis and stuff, okay? Wait, All right. Good. Yeah? Can we get you into the bar? You got fake ID? Apple juice. <laughs> no fake ID? All right. So, Chris, have a seat right there. You're like not fully sitting on it, you're just kind of leaning on it, and then you're gonna turn that way. Yeah. And so that's, like... Yeah. So it's like, yeah, exactly. It's like, that's a prop. And then I'm just gonna adjust this for you. Perfect. And then turn towards me just a little bit more. And then Tatiana, you're gonna come in this way. So this light will go up a little bit higher, right about there, and a little bit closer. Yep. We want the light to be approximately maybe three feet from our subjects, above their head, tilted down at a 45 degree angle. That gives us that pretty butterfly lighting underneath the nose and gives us a nice soft fall off. So up a little bit higher, so this way it's over Chris's head. Um, so we can probably bring it maybe a tiny bit lower and because Chris is nice and tall and Michelle is four foot 11, all uh -huh. of me, even with my heels on, uh, we need to get the tripod a little bit higher and there is a step stool in here. So in case I need a step stool, but with the back of my camera, I can see pretty good. So let's do a quick light test just to make sure our exposure is where we want it to be. And I know I'm gonna be, wanna be a little bit taller. Um, do you wanna, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, bring it closer to his face. Yep. What is that reading? Five six. Five, six. Okay, so perfect. I'll drop it just a little bit. And let's see. Ooh. So what I did just, I moved the subjects much closer to me and away from the wall. I really want that wall to go darker. Before we were much closer to the wall, we were getting fall off from the light. So the wall was more illuminated. Now I want that wall to get a little bit darker. They're wearing darker tones. So I want the tones of the wall and the clothing to match a little bit more. 
So when you bring your subjects and your light away from the background, the background will naturally get darker. And so that's what we've done. We're not lighting the background. Again, I'm gonna be doing a lot of close-ups here. Close-ups are my jam. That's really where my family portraits sing for me. And so we're gonna be getting squeezy, huggy, feely, lovey. Right, fam? Yeah. Right, fam? Yeah. We're in the fourth quarter, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like to get all those little in-betweens, all those little in-betweens, and I'm bring that light down just a drop more. All right, so hang on. Hang on, you little pipsqueak. Are you ready? So getting the heads together and creating those shapes has so much to do with the props and being able to raise and lower bodies. So Chris's stool can't get any lower, so we need to lift everything to meet him. Um, where Nehemiah is is perfect because he's standing on a chair behind his dad and when he leans over towards me his face is going to be exactly where I want it to be. Um, I want uh, Darius to be a little bit higher and closer to his dad. Oh that might work. Yep. Um, so usually in this in my studio we have a bunch of apple boxes. Yep. Oh let's see if you stand on this it will get you a little bit taller. You ready? I'm going to drop this right here and then step on up there. That gives him a little bit more height. Not quite where I want him to be. So let's do this. I'm going to put him on the chair behind here. So step out for one second. Okay, so now you're going to come back here. Let me move this. You're going to come back here. Let's see what happens if you stand up there. You got it. Yeah, you're good. Don't worry. And now turn your knees this way. Keep going. And I want you to lean in. I want you to get your head right in there. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to be like this. Bring this hand around your mom. So like I'm your mom and your hand's gonna go in here and you're gonna be in here. See that? Yeah. See where you go? Okay. All right. Okay. Ha! I think I like it. Okay, but leave room for Darius. Yep. And make sure I don't see those crazy fingers. So those go back here and then you're gonna come in right there. So I want your cheek next to dad's ear. Yes. Up a little higher. Lean between them. Can you step forward just a little bit more? Yep, and then bring this hand in here and watch this hand for me. I'm gonna move this hair, so, and I'll bring this hair forward a little bit. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. So just adjusting hair. Lean out this way just a little bit and then make sure, but get in there and closer to me. Yep, okay, yes. Oh, I love that. Now, ah, yes, squeeze together a little bit. Chris, turn your body that way a little bit more. Keep turning, shoulder, yep. But then your face comes back. And then Nehemiah, get close, nice and close, a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. And then give Darius a little bit more room. So open up just a bit, Tatiana. Darius, come through, yes! Leaning forward just a little bit more. Chris, you're looking good, eyes right up here. And Tatiana, chin down just a little bit, eyes up here, beautiful, squeeze in, squeeze! Beautiful, okay, break, because I love that. Oh, it's so good, yay! All right, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> oh, he's going to make me do it. <sighs> okay, wow, that is a wrap. We're out. Peace out. <laughs> that was a lot of work, huh? <laughs> Six year olds and nine year olds. Woo! They give us a run for our money or what? I'm impressed how you handled them. You spoke to them so well. That was really incredible. They're you, just completely age appropriate. You completely. just you got a lot out of them. Yeah. Really, it was, it was entertaining and I guess took your shoes off and it was yeah. really, that was pretty amazing. So funny convincing them to take their, like usually most kids love taking their shoes off when I say that, they're like, wee! Or like moms can't get shoes on kids. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> You know, like they don't realize when they're sitting, seeing the bottom of the shoe, it, it just, you know, and negotiating, like that kid was literally negotiating with me. He came up to me and whispered in my ear, he's like, so last time you said five minutes without shoes and like went longer than that. So like, how long do you want my shoes off now? And I was like, are you going to law school? Do you keep <laughs> lollipops around to bribe them? No, or no, this, really. Is there... <laughs> this is the last thing you want to do is bribe kids with candy because it makes things even worse. So um, I really try not to use food or candy as incentive. I try like not to use any incentives. Like, you know, it's, it's just more of a conversation, more of entertainment. It's more being ridiculous and making yourself vulnerable and allowing them to have fun. Well, you really pitched your voice. Your personality really kind of came out and 
You charm them. You played with them. Yeah, least. that's that's what you have to do. I mean, mom and dad are gonna respond to you no matter what. They're gonna they know how to behave and turn it on when they need to. But kids really need to be like worked. So, what was the most challenging thing that came up in this photo shoot? Um, with boys that age, it's the slumping and the not sitting up straight or getting into the position I want them to be in or I get them there and I lift them up and I turn around and they're back down back here. Down. Um, so, you know, their body control isn't as good as an adult. Like, they can hold this for a little while. Most people aren't used to, like, holding up good posture. And so, like, it gets tiring. Like, your back starts to hurt even for little kids. So, like, as soon as you turn your back, they're like, back here. Okay, lift up. High knees. You know, like, oh. And then just... It's just so great, like, you say something and then the reaction or the word they heard comes out and it's hysterical. And it's just laughing with them, I think, is, and, and that keeping that energy up keeps them going. And so, like, lift up, lift up, like, you're constantly talking. And I think that's the key, like, with families. You, you, there's never downtime. There's never quiet time for a couple of reasons. One, because you need to keep them going. And two, because they need constant reassurance that they're doing the right thing and that they're having fun. And as soon as you're quiet, they start to doubt if they're doing something uh, wrong. You're constantly reinforcing yeah. them. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, do you send them proofs? Do you, how do you work out? What's the next step? Yeah, time? I send them a whole bunch of proofs and just, you know, wait for them to come back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so we set up a preview appointment and they come back to the studio. Usually just mom and dad. I really encourage them to leave their little children at home mm -hmm. at this point because um, I want them to be able to make decisions without having to worry about the kids. So, and you, you know, throughout the session, you know, I usually talk to mom about like, oh, I, you know, this is a favorite and I'm showing her the screen in the studio making sure that she's happy with the way her hair looks and mm -hmm. and showing them the screen while tethered actually gets the kids excited mm -hmm. it's interesting like if the kids know what you're doing they get more on board with it like I think once I was explaining to them see how good it looks without your shoes on they're like oh okay like you know so it, it's involving them throughout mm -hmm. the entire process and even while you're shooting saying oh, this is going to be perfect for that wall or this will be great for an album or even when you're getting the kids to make funny faces or you know when i'm asking ridiculous questions and they make silly faces those in between expressions make for great fillers in albums or image boxes do you follow through with the family after they picked up their prints like is there a, a way that you can continue to work business with the family once you've established yeah, of course. They, they'll they be on your mailing list and your email marketing and, you know, the, you give them the images for their social media. So I always offer social media size images. I'll post on my social media. Um, I'll usually do like a preview after the session so that they get excited. I want them to get mm -hmm. excited. Um, and that usually that one image that I pick for social media that I then finish and retouch generally ends up being their favorite and mm -hmm. the one that they end up buying. One, because now they've seen it and they're really excited about it and all their friends and family have said how great it is and they love the picture. And so usually by the time they come in, they're locked in on that image. I noticed you were, at a certain point, you were really banging away. Um, the recycle time on the strobes, yeah. I assume, is really important. Really good. Yeah. yeah. And again, I think part of that is I'm not shooting at F8. So I'm not like I'm not blasting those lights at full power so I can shoot very quickly because with those ages, it's all about getting that micro expression in between. So I'm not standing there waiting for the perfect expression because it's going to happen in a literal millisecond. And so I shoot very quickly and multiple images because I don't like doing head swaps. I don't like post-processing. I want it right in camera. I want that one image to be done, finished. That's all I need is that one good one. So I can just keep rapid fire. And that's why I like shooting, like today we were shooting at F4. And you get it right in the camera. Yeah. So you don't have to fool around and spend right. too much time in post. That's why I light meter. So that's that. why I shoot in Kelvin degree. Sekonic L718. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah nice. Why not be sure what you're getting? You can't, you can't always rely on that little tiny L, no. LCD, LED, whatever no, it because is. Because what you really see on an LCD is an approximation of what Correct. the file is. Yeah. So yeah, get it right. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that was a great shoot. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. and joining it us. It was a lot of fun. So Those back. kids are going to sleep well tonight, and after I have my wine, I will too. <laughs> we'll come back to New York. We'll do pizza again. Anytime. We'll do another family to shoot. Anytime. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Right on.